In this video, I'm going to be decorating a Valentine's Day table. So if you're interested in seeing how it turns out, you know what to do. Stick around. Hello everyone, I am Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me. And you're in the right place if you want to make decorating a bit easier on a budget. If so, then click that red subscribe button you see down below. A bell will appear. Click that bell and then click all. And you'll be notified each time I upload something new. Now today I am participating in an open invitation collaboration. Now the title of this collaboration is Show Some Love Collab 2020. And it's hosted by a wonderful YouTube sister of mine, Kimberly of Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. If you're not familiar with Kim's channel, I will leave a link to Kim's channel along with the playlist when it becomes available down below in the description box. So let's go on and talk more about this challenge. Now she has simple rules. Now she asked us to share three things that you love and design a tablescape for Valentine's Day. She asked that you use the hashtag, which you roll across the screen, hashtag DDOAD, show some love collab 2020. She asked that you be a subscriber to her channel, that you mention her channel in the video, and that you add the playlist to the video in your playlist and your description box when it becomes available. And she asked that you have fun. So I'm excited about this because I've participated in this for the last couple of years as Kim has hosted this. And I have fun thinking outside the box, trying to come up with something new every year. Because if you know my sister, you know she can get down with some tablescapes. So if you're interested in seeing what I did this year for my Show Some Love tablescape, you know what to do. Stick around. Now let's talk about the three things that I love. But well, first off, I'm going to start with something that means most to me, and that's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That is the first thing I want to say that I love, that I keep try to keep daily in my walk as a Christian. Number two, I want to say my husband. My husband means more to me than most people realize, but he is a good man. He has good intentions. He does his best for me. Most of you know he kind of spoils me too. <laughs> I think that's a mutual thing. I think we kind of spoil each other. <laughs> and the third thing I love the most is I love my family. I love my children with all my heart and my grandbabies are just like, if you have grandchildren, then you know they pull on a different heart string. I don't care what anybody does. Some grandkids have that heart string just tied up. And I love my babies. I love them more than, I love them like air. You know, and I, I love my parents. They're still here, and I'm blessed to say that they still are. And um, my siblings, even sometimes we knock heads. You know, siblings always do. I love my sister and my brothers. And then I have a brother-in-law and a sister-in-law, and that's my brother and my other. That's my brother and my other sister. So I have two sisters and three brothers, and I love them all dearly. And it's precious to me are my nieces and nephews. Um, I have, now I have two nephews. Joshua is 20. And <laughs> it's funny. But then I have Benjamin that'll be a year old here uh, next week. Well, as a matter of fact, the day this video goes out, Joshua, I mean, uh, Benjamin will be a year old the day this video goes out. And then I have my nieces, Jalea, who is 20, Kayla, who is 13, and yeah, she's 13. And then um, Olivia, who is 12, who will be 13 in uh, July. So I have my nieces and my nephews, and I love all of them so dearly. And so my family is very important to me. Then I have my children with my husband. Um, I have Megan. And then I have Jasmine. And I have Erica. And then I have Jonathan. So there's four more children. So now all my grandbabies, my children and his children, which are our children, 
we have um, four, three girls, two boys. Want to make sure I got that number right. So we have Genevieve, have Penelope, then we have Madeline, then we have Carter, and then we have Kaysen. And then we have an adopted grandson of one of my daughter's friends, and his name is Larson. Larson is seven. So we have five, four, three, two, one. Those are the ages of the grandkids. So now that I've said all the things that I love, which is the Lord Jesus Christ and Savior, my husband, and my family, those are my three things. Now, on with this tablescape. First, I'm going to give you an overview of the full table, and then I will break it down and let you know where everything was purchased from. Every setting is the same. So we're going to start off with the red placemat. That was a Walmart find. The black charger was a DIY. The white plate was Dollar Tree. The little white heart, polka dotted heart bowl, that's from Family Dollar years ago. I thought that went really well together. Um, then the double hearted, uh, the double hearted napkin ring was an Amazon purchase. The red napkins were from eBay, and both of the glasses, well, the smaller glass is from Ross, the taller glass is from Pier 1. My Z Gallery Dude glasses. I really like them. I love the sparkle of them. They're so pretty. Now, as I stated, oh, and the pillow, the pillow covers in these chairs they were purchased off of Amazon as well. Uh, there was a set of four pillows, I believe, and I will link that information down below uh, about the napkin rings and the pillow covers. I think these are some gorgeous pillow covers. Now let's talk about this centerpiece. The XOXO was a find at Dirt Cheap last year. I found it during the clearance. The um, garland, the red white garland, that was a after season purchase from Hobby Lobby last year. And then I have the red heart shaped tea candles. Those were a thrift find uh, years ago. And then I have the bling table runner. That was a DIY project. That I thought I would try to see how it would look. And I think it came out really, really pretty. And then I have the crystal candle holders. They were a thrill find with the red and the white candles. The red candles came from Dollar Tree. The white ones came from Hobby Lobby. I have a set on both sides of the red and white candles and the crystal candle holders. And just showing you that there are four of those red heart-shaped tea light hold tea candle holders and then in the center 
is a crystal vase that I was gifted by my mother-in-law um, on my first Christmas when I was married to my husband. And I included some red and white roses from the Dollar Tree. And then the white heart picks and the red heart picks came from Hobby Lobby. Now I didn't want a really big centerpiece because I wanted to be a little intimate this year. But here's an overview of my table. I think it came out really pretty this year. I'm liking the black and white. This is a no spin tablescape. Everything here I already had except for the napkin ring holders and the pillowcases. If you haven't gone already to check out creativelymissme.com, check out my blog where I have created forms to make planning easier for home organization and for content creators. Make sure you sign up for the quickest updates. If you like my content, you know what to do. Give your girl a thumbs up, comment, and share my video. And never stop exploring. Continue to the last screen. There's always something new on that last screen. And as always, this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me saying thank you for watching and you be blessed.